Thank you for those really inspiring words. Next we have Ellie Stittleman. Thank you, Sammy. I love you too. Hi, my name is Ellie Stittleman, um, and I recently moved to San Diego. Um, I wish I could tell you all about it, but some parts of it were hard, as things usually are. But the thing is, it's not really just about pride, at least for me. I find this to be a community. A couple years ago, I would not really go out of my house ever, um, and I didn't want anything to do with pride to begin with. Um, I had been out for a while, I just didn't think that was for me. Um, and then I met Shofa. Shopa is doing something here that I have not seen anywhere else, in any other town, even in California. And she's done something that has really truly moved me. She's integrated our community, something that I hold very you know, close to my heart and has made it something beautiful. I mean, look around you guys. There's so many different people here. And it's not just people in the LGBT community either. It is all of these different people who have worked so hard to put this together, who have worked so hard to support the people and support their voices. And what I love about Pride is that we work together. It's not about one of us. And while it is about you know celebrating who you are, it's also about celebrating the community that you're from and celebrating our place in this world. I recently moved to San Diego, as I said, and I was able to live on the Pride floor. I was able to gain a lot of nice things. I was able to meet some really cool friends, and I was able to have a safe environment, which I knew my parents felt comfortable in. I also know it didn't help. It did definitely did help that they can go out to San Diego and go on the beach. I know that that's fun, but um, it wasn't really all sunshine and rainbows. Even though it kind of literally was, but it wasn't literally all sunshine and rainbows. Um, there was definitely still a lot of hate within this community. Um, a lot of people talk about hate outside of the community, but it's just as real within it. It's not just one thing, being LGBTQ, it is all these different types of things, you know, your race, your personality, all these different kinds of things. And being accepting doesn't just mean being accepting of your label, it means being accepting of who you are as a person, being acceptful, accepting of who you are and what makes you important. Every human being is worth it. I just want all of you to know. And look around, you guys. You guys have come together to do something I don't think I would have ever dreamed or ever thought I could see. Look around. This is a community in Livingston. It takes a village. And you guys are that village. And I cannot thank Shopa enough for everything that she has done. This Pride Picnic, this Pride Picnic is something I am grateful to from my whole being. I know that's not the best wording, but it's the truth. Um, you know, we're not always feeling our best and we're not always feeling like we belong. And I've been in some places where I just didn't want to be here anymore. But it's people like my parents, like my softa, like my sister, like my brother, who have brought me together and told me, you know what, Ellie, you are worth it. And that is something that you can't change. You can't take that for granted. Um, for hate, remember that each and every person is worth of love. And whether they get on your nerves sometimes or, you know, they're not who you, um, you know, like to spend time with, just treat them like a human being because everyone is going through the same thing. Everyone just wants to move on and everyone wants to be able to live their life at peace. And I just want to say thank you for all of these businesses and all these people and the police for coming to support this and taking care of us in this town. You guys have made something beautiful and I just want to say thank you to show Bob one last time. Thank you for everything.